What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, we're actually going to talk about a tumbao that you could try in the mambo section or just anything to try to spice up the tumbao in the middle of your courses. And we're gonna try it on two and on three congas. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. To all the new subscribers, welcome to your Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to introduce myself to all the newcomers, man. And I do thank you for subscribing. I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we upload videos, man. Mostly every Monday and Thursday, something new, something different, something fresh. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, I seriously love you guys, man. All the appreciation, all the support. I'm like, I was getting all teary eyed with the previous video and the comments, man. I read all them comments, man. All of them, all them comments, man. I have read each and every one of them and seriously it means a lot. I am blessed to know that these videos have benefited so many of you and uh, I'm just seriously grateful 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 that you know this community is building and becoming what it is man so thank you guys all my day ones i love y'all so i just want to get right into it uh this tumbao is very popular you'll hear it once i play it you're gonna be like oh yeah that's uh that tumbao i already know it good for you you know uh this is mostly for the people that haven't played it also it's a different perspective it's just my take on how i do it so yeah, so the tumba I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you first on two congas and then in the middle just uh, switch it up to three, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. gosh you just you just gotta love those things man so first let me show you how i do it on two congas and then i will show you how to play it on three you know for everyone's benefit so i start the pattern with a bass with my left hand and then a close slap with my right hand and then a close slap with my left hand so to put that together After I do that close slap with my left hand, I'm gonna go to the tumba on my right and do two opens. So to put that together. And then to finish the whole tumba, just on the two congas, it's going to be a close slap with your left hand and then two opens with your right. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. To play it through, it's gonna sound like this. Let 
let's not uh, let's not get off topic here. But it's really, really, really simple. So when you practice this at home, just know that it's it's not meant to be that repetitive. It's just to be for just for certain sections of a song or just certain parts, or if you just want to spice it up just for a moment. You know, you don't want to just continue playing that on, but it's a great, great workout if you want to try it out at home. Now, to add the third conga, this is what you're going to do. So after you do one circle of just the two congas, uh, this is what you're going to do. Just to kind of give you a clue, I'm going to play it out so you can see how I transition to the conga to my left. So basically, when you go to your bass, rather than going bass close slap with your right hand and close slap with your left hand, what you're going to do is a bass close slap with your left hand and then a close slap with your right. So it's gonna sound like this. And then you do two opens with your left hand on the third conga. Now, if I were to have this tumba, let's say like right here, and I were to move this tumba a little bit more up here, what I would do and what I would suggest is just continue the same pattern you're doing with the two congas, except you're just switching those two opens on the tumbas. That's that's it. I wouldn't bother with this. But if you want to challenge your left hand, which is something that I emphasize a lot, this is just my way of playing, try doing it this way. So to kind of bring it back, just bass with your left hand, Close slap with your left hand, close slap with your right hand, two opens on the tumba. Then you go kind of like back to your regular scheduled programming and you're going to do a close slap with your left hand and then two opens with your right. To basically start the whole tumbal again. Now here's the tricky part. You're going to be doing two opens with your left hand and then you have to come back to do a close slap with your left hand on the conga. So it's the movement is kind of it's kind of difficult but it's gonna really like it's really gonna work your left hand to do and change up in an instance. So I love to really work on things like this simply because it's really causing me to focus a lot on my weaker hand to do things that my stronger hand normally does. So to show you, it's gonna sound like this. So just to play this left hand part, let me show you so you could try to practice just that at home. It's a great workout. The good things happen when you work out of home. Not to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. Now the best place that I found that you could count it is basically like this. Let me show you. One, two.
So it's going to be, the bass is gonna be your one. The two is going to be the left hand slap that you do the first time around. The three is going to be the second hit you do on the tumba. And then the four is going to be that open on the conga. So one, two, three, four. Now the left hand side is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Can't get much easier than that. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do like subscribe i will see you guys next week i hope you guys have a great weekend